Welcome to the JTV News Update. I am Sean Rose. The Police Information Officer is a police operation specifically targeting suspects who illegally enter and steal items from vehicles parked in the West End area has resulted in the arrest of one man. Jamoy Estridge, age 23, of Freshwater Pond was charged with handling stolen goods, as well as a number of traffic offenses including driving without a driver's license, driving without due care and attention, failing to stop at the scene of an accident, and driving an unlicensed vehicle. Officers of the Criminal Investigations Department who led the operation were joined by West End Police Officers, Task Force and the Beat and Patrol. Additionally, the Police Information Officers' intelligence and diligent work by Virgin Goddard Police Officers resulted in the apprehension of two suspects in an attempted robbery. Everett Isaac, age 23, and a 17-year-old male, both of the Valley Virgin Gorda, are alleged to have attempted to remove a gold chain and other valuables from a man as he exited his vehicle outside his residence in Virgin Gorda in early March. The victim escaped following a struggle with the perpetrators. Both Isaac and the 17-year-old male appeared in magistrate's court and were remanded. Persons are being invited to participate in the Anagara Island-wide cleanup campaign on April 11, spearheaded by the British Virgin Islands Tourist Board. The initiative is aimed to address the amount of litter that is strewn throughout the island. The community-wide effort is being held with the assistance of other local organizations, clubs and businesses that are collaborating to raise awareness about the environment, cleanliness and beautification. A ferry has been arranged to transport volunteers for the cleanup effort. The ferry will depart at 8 a.m. from the Road Tongue Ferry Dock and 8.30 a.m. from the Spanish Tongue Ferry Dock. The ferry will depart Anagada at 3 p.m. on that day. The National Health Insurance Division of the Social Security Board has partnered with Baptist Health International of Florida to strengthen its overseas network to enable seamless and affordable transfer of patients for medical care. Deputy Director of the Social Security Board with the responsibility for NHI, Roy Barry, says the partnership will give the people of the territory another quality care option in case of emergencies and access to specialty services that are currently unavailable in the BVI. Anchor leg Jonelle Lacey capped off her Carifta Games career on Monday night to end the 44th edition of the Regional Premier Junior Championships at the Kim Collins Stadium in Boardrock, St. Kitts Nevis, helping the BVI to snatch the under-20 girls 4x400-meter relay silver medal from the Bahamas and Trinidad and Tobago. It was the first time the BVI had fielded an under-20 girls 4x400 relay team since it began participating in the Carifta Games in 1976. Lacey also won an individual silver medal in the 400-meter intermediate hurdles in the territory's 40th Carifta Games medal history. BVI left the competition with two silver medals and one bronze. For the JTV News Update, I am Sean Rose.